of their top athletes and still be relatively confident that they'll get into the final. And that's the advantage of having depth when you come to a championship like this. But, you know, Ricardo, I, I see, given the growth that we've seen in the Guyana program over the past six years or so, they will get that depth. They will inspire Malachi, Tiana. They will inspire more young Guyanese to come out, get involved in clubs, start training, and make coming to the Carifta Games their goal as we look at the start list for heat number two, Bermuda in lane two, the Virgin Islands in three, Jamaica, very much to be feared in lane four, Trinidad and Tobago, they have a strong team in five, and Guyana out in lane six. Jamaica with Javon Pinnock on the opening leg, fall started in the 400 final protested his disqualification, but to no avail. Trinidad and Tobago in this marks. heat as well with Deshaun Lezama on the opening leg. Johnson James, the multi-eventer, is on the opening leg for Bermuda. Well, that's something. He'll certainly be gunning to make the final after having a bit of a disappointing outing yeah. in the Octathlon. Malachi Austin on the opening leg, the 400 champion for Guyana. Ran the mixed 4x4 four four last night as well that they won in record style. And he heads down the back straight away. Trinidad and Tobago with Lezama on this opening leg. Javon Pinnock, the Jamaican. I think he was on the third leg in the 4x100 last night as well. Silver medal winning team for the Jamaicans. Uh, Malachi Austin taking charge. Three short to go through. And Austin trying to put Guyana in a very good position. He has a lot of running to do today. 4x4 four four qualifying. 200 final to come later on. And he hopes as well the 4x400 four final. As Guyana has a big lead over Trinidad and Tobago and Jamaica after that first leg. Now a big race is on. Jamaica moving into the lead. Guyana have Jamal Sullivan on this second leg. The Jamaicans have Yashin Bowen, who is an 8 1500 man. He's in the 800 final later, but he gets an opportunity to run 4x4 qualifying for the Jamaicans. And Bowen heads down the home stretch with the advantage. Trinidad and Tobago with Deshaun Cole on this second leg. And the three athletes right across the track come to the changeover. Jamaica just ahead of Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago. And it looks like the 400 silver medalist Marcinia Rose who is on this leg for Jamaica. Jamaica just uh, pulling away here through Rose and... Uh establishing dominance over the Trinidad and Tobago and uh, Guyana teams, but they will want to remain within striking distance. Kian John on this third leg for Trinidad and Tobago. He's in third position at this stage. Marcinia Rose doing exactly what the Jamaicans expect of, of him to give them a good advantage at the end of this leg. Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago battling for the second position. Looks like Gil Nielsen or Nielsen Gill on this leg for Guyana and he runs a pretty good one to move them into second again as the Jamaicans are well clear. The top three pretty much well clear and remember it's three who go through to the final. And uh, it looks here like it's the octathlete who is on the anchor leg, is it? For Jamaica, Holt, wow. We did see that he did have some uh, track prowess and he's uh, showing exactly that right now. Osman Holt, out of the medals in the octathlon for boys, anchors Jamaica in the 4x4 qualifying, Trinidad and Tobago in second position. And Guyana in third, they all know that they are safely through Holt anchors Jamaica to the win. 
Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago second and third, they're all going through to the final. And I don't think we'll get any place qualifiers from this second semi-final. We definitely won't. But the top three delivering there as Bermuda come through in fourth position ahead of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Well, I spoke about the depth of the Jamaicans to finish there. They had an 800, 1500 man on the third leg. And then they went to their multi-eventer to anchor them on leg number four. Well, on their second leg, they had their 8 1500 man, and, and then they went to by a combined the eventer. multi eventer to anchor them home with the big man, Marcinia Rose, on third. Yeah, and uh, we should see obviously a much stronger performance uh, from Jamaica this evening, a uh, much stronger team. Uh, the uh, Bahamas as well, and uh, one imagines Trinidad and Tobago should also have uh, stronger teams. Guyana, I think that's just about the strongest team that they will muster. They may change the order a little bit uh, for the final. Nielsen Gill already with a gold medal in the relays, uh, setting that record last night in uh, the mixed 4x4. But Holt, after a strong showing in uh, the octathlon, coming through to lead Jamaica into the 4x4 final. Well, let's kick back across to the long jump as we give you 313.52 for Jamaica, Guyana 315.14, Trinidad and Tobago 315.31. It means the top five from the first semifinal advance to the final, Bermuda and the U.S. Virgin Islands out. Antigua and Barbuda, St. Vincent and the Grenadines will go through to the final. 